Hi, Mr. Richards here, and today's lesson is on solving two-step equations. Our directions on this first example are to solve the equation and check your solution. So we have 2m plus 8 equals 32. Well, we need to isolate the m. We need to get the m alone, and our first step here is going to actually be to get rid of this plus 8. So we're going to do that by doing the opposite of plus. We're going to subtract 8 from both sides. As this cancels, we're left with 2m equals 32 minus 8 is 24. Then divide by 2 on both sides. This 2 then cancels, and we're left with m equals 12. Now it does say to check our solution. So as we Write our check step, we always start with the original equation, 2m plus 8 equals 32. Substitute in 12 for m. Two multiplied by 12 is 24, plus 8 equals 32, and 24 plus 8 is 32. So 32 equals 32. Our solution of m equals 12 is correct. What about this equation? 1 fourth w plus 6 equals 9. Once again, we want to isolate the w, so we're going to do that by subtracting that 6 from both sides first. Cancels out. We're left with 1 fourth w equals 3. And at this point, instead of dividing by 1 fourth on both sides, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal, which is just 4 or 4 over 1, which turns into 4. So we'll multiply by that 4 on both sides, and this cancels. And we're left with w equals 3 times 4, which is 12. And again, as we go to our check step, rewrite the original equation, 1 fourth w plus 6 equals 9. Substitute in 12 for w, and if you wanted to write a 12 over 1, you certainly could. And 1 fourth times 12 is 3. And 3 plus 6 does simplify to be 9. 9 equals 9, so w equals 12 is our correct solution. Now we have 5 minus x equals 7. And before you go, wait a minute, Mr. Richards, I thought this was a lesson on solving two-step equations. It, it is. You're going to subtract 5 from both sides first. And... Let's just pretend that x is going to equal 2. Well, when you go to check this, 5 minus x equals 7. 5 minus 2 equals 7. 7 e no, it's not 7. That's 3 equals 7. So we did something wrong here. We forgot something. Let's take it back. And those of you wondering, did he do that on purpose? Yes, he did that on purpose. It is true that this 5 cancels out, the 5 minus 5. And it is, is true that 7 minus 5 is 2. But what we need to pay attention to here is this minus x. This is a negative x equals 2, or a negative 1x equals 2. So we don't have x equals yet. We need to now divide by a negative 1 on both sides so that the negatives cancel out and we're left with x equals negative 2. So don't be caught making that mistake because if I see on somebody's check step that 5 minus 2 equals 7, well, I'll probably just have a good laugh, but still, <laughs> make sure you're doing this the right way. We're going to substitute in the negative 2 for x Remember, with our integers, if we keep change opposite, 5 plus 2 is 7, so 7 equals 7, so x equals negative 2 is our solution. So be sure to pay attention to this negative here. Do not lose track of that, especially as our equations become more complicated. Speaking of complicated, we have to combine like terms here 
before solving. We have b minus 3b plus 8 equals 18. Now before we add or subtract anything from both sides, we want to make sure all of our terms are combined. So we have b minus 3b here. To b or not to b? And actually it's a negative 2b, because 1 minus 3 is negative 2, plus 8 equals 18. Then subtract the 8 from both sides. Those cancel. We're left with negative 2b equals 10. And again, don't lose track of that negative. We're going to divide by negative 2 on both sides. So that cancels, and we're left with b equals negative 5. And when we go to check this, always check using the original equation, as just in case you made a mistake in combining like terms. It happens. We'll substitute in the negative 5 for b, so negative 5 minus 3 times negative 5 plus 8 needs to equal 18. Our negative 5 stays the same, and for here we have, consider that a negative 3 times negative 5, and that's going to be a positive 15 plus 8 equals 18. And now negative 5 plus 15 is 10, plus 8 needs to equal 18, and sure enough, 18 equals 18. So if you want to perform the best check step possible, always go with the original equation. Don't assume that your two-step equation here is correct. You may have made a mistake combining like terms. So be sure to use the original equation in your check steps. Now for our real-world word problem involving a two-step equation. Marissa wants to go to a summer camp. The camp will cost $229. She paid a deposit of $75, and she will need to save $14 per week to pay for the trip. Write and solve an equation to find how many weeks Marissa will need to save. Well, $14 per week, and we don't know how many weeks we have. That's our unknown, so that's our variable. So we're going to say $14 times the number of weeks plus the initial $75 is going to equal the $229. So again, $14 per week. We don't know the number of weeks. That's what we're solving for. Plus the deposit of $75 needs to equal $229. And if we solve for W, we'll find our number of weeks. So if we subtract 75 on both sides here, this will cancel. And 14 W is going to equal 154. And when I divide by 14 now on both sides, this cancels, and W is going to equal 11. So Marissa needs to save 4, 11, weeks. At least I think. Let's make sure we check this. 14w plus 75 equals 229. $14 a week times 11 weeks plus 75 should equal 229. 154 plus 75 equals 229, and sure enough, 229 does equal 229. That's a 9 there. There we go. And that's it for this lesson on solving two-step equations. Good luck!